हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी फ्रॉम चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लार्डर इन डिटेल एंड इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ क्योरिंग एंड स्मोकिंग इन शाकत्री प्रोडक्ट्स at the end of the session you will be able to define what is shakutri describe the terms curing and smoking and comprehend the process and types of curing smoking shakutri has derived from french term chair and cui which means cooked flesh in ancient france there were some authoritative groups which were called as guilds and which were responsible for maintaining the standards while preparation of dishes and codification of rules on sales and purchases of such items to control the money and price abuses each guild was responsible for a certain type of a product and was the responsibility of the guild to train people and make them master crafts person each guild had a specified charter which listed its rights one such guild that was responsible for preparing dishes from pigs meat was referred to as shakutri curing is one of the most important things to do when preparing meat for shakutri as it is meant to prevent bacterial contamination curing of food means preserving food and this particularly becomes necessary in shakutri production which is very vulnerable to bacterial contamination called botulism it is caused by a bacterium called clostridium botulinum which can thrive at temperatures as low as 4 degrees celsius since ages raw and unrefined salt has been the most commonly used curing agent in food be it pickles or cold meat in simple terms we can say that curing means treating meat with salt so as it can be preserved for future use ingredients used in cures fill two main functions first preserving the food and second changing its flavor and texture salt salt has been one of the most important food preservatives throughout most of human history when food comes in direct contact with salt it turns the food that have less moisture and are saltier both the moisture reduction and the increased salt content makes the food less hospitable to bacteria that cause spoilage and disease of course the reduced moisture and the increased salt content also change the flavor and texture of the food nitrites and nitrates some foods especially meats are highly prone to contamination by the bacteria that cause botulism nitrites and nitrates are added to the cures for these foods to make them safe from botulism infection as these chemicals need to be used in minute quantities and if not used in controlled manner it may lead to some of the serious health issues like cancer thus they are available in two mixture forms parag 1 and parag 2 parag 1 is also called as curing salt which is a blend of 6% sodium nitrite and 94% sodium chloride or regular table salt it is colored pink so that it will not be confused with regular salt and this is often called as tinted curing mix or tcm parag powder 2 it is similar to parag powder 1 except that it contains nitrates in addition to nitrites it is used in curing products that have a long curing and drying period sugars or sweeteners ordinary white sugar sucrose and other forms of sugar including corn syrup honey and maple syrup are used in some cures sugars modify the flavor of the food and counteract some of the harsh flavor of the highly concentrated salt in the cure herbs spices and other flavorings nearly any spice or flavoring that can be used in cooking can be used in curing traditional recipes of course use traditional seasonings some of the most popular curing sausage use seasonings such as garlic pepper coriander nutmeg caraway and dry mustard there is no hard and fast rule for 
the usage of flavoring in cured meat. There are two kinds of cures, dry cure and wet cure, which is also known as brining. In a dry cure, the cure ingredients are mixed together and packed or rubbed over the food product to coat it completely. The length of time required to dry cure meats depends on their thickness. Lean meat one inch thick requires three to eight hours while a whole ham needs about 45 days. During a long cure, the food is repeatedly turned and rubbed with the cure mix in order to maintain uniform contact. It is important that the entire surface area to be coated. Also, temperature and humidity plays a crucial role, especially when curing things for more than two days. Once dry cured, the food is rinsed and left to dry in cold storage for over 12 hours. This helps to form a dry skin on surface, also known as pellicle, which is essential prior to smoking and ensures that smoke adheres to the surface. This slide shows you a formula for preparing a dry curing mix for meat, which comprise of salt, sweetener, TCM and seasoning. To get a good quality cured product, one needs to adhere to the quantities as given in the table. A brine is a solution of salt and other curing ingredients in water. The simplest way to use a brine is to immerse the meat in brine and let it soak until the cure is complete. Compared with dry cures, brines are especially useful for poultry items which are difficult to coat evenly with a dry cure because of their shape. Simple brine soaking is used for small meat items. In case of big pieces of meat like ham, brine can be pumped or injected into the meat to make sure it penetrates evenly. After injection, the meat may be soaked in brine as well. Wet brining is faster curing process in comparison to dry curing. In dry curing, where the ham with bone takes almost 45 days to cure, but in case of wet curing, it takes 20 to 23 days and if injected, it takes only 6 to 7 days. Fresh brine should be made for each batch of cured meat. Do not reuse brines because they are diluted and contaminated with juices from first batch of meat. Once wet cured, the product is rinsed and left to dry in cold storage for over 12 hours. This helps to form pellicle, which is essential prior to smoking and ensures that the smoke adheres to the surface. This slide shows you a formula for preparing a wet curing mix for meat, which comprise of salt, sweetener, TCM, seasoning and water. To get a good quality cured product, one needs to adhere to the quantities as given in the table. Smoking has been used as a way of drying and preserving foods since prehistoric times. Smoking does have some preservative effects, but for modern cooking, it is more important for the flavors it gives to the meat, poultry and seafood. Even smoked cheese and vegetables are enjoyed for their special flavors. The first rule of smoking food is do not smoke meat, poultry and fish that have not been cured. The reason for this rule is a matter of food safety. During smoking, foods spend a period of time in the food danger zone, that is, at a temperature that is favorable for the growth of bacteria. Without the preservatives, effect of curing smoking could be unsafe. During the process of smoking, there is a chamber in which the meat is hung and a source where the smoke is produced with ample ventilation and circulation space for the smoke to spread in and around the food item. Some of the most commonly used wood for smoking are oak, cider, hickory, cherry, etc. The wood should be hard as soft wood burns out easily thereby spoiling the taste and color of the end product. Since the smoking is always done after the meat has been cured, 
it helps in further intensifying the flavors and preserving the food this slide shows you a picture of traditional style smokehouse as well as a modern smokehouse machine even now a traditional smokehouse can be found at the backyard of the house in some of the european villages where it is used for domestic purpose and on the other hand a modern smokehouse machine is used for commercial purpose there are two kinds of smoking namely cold and hot in cold smoking the temperature inside the smokehouse is kept at or below 85 degree fahrenheit at these temperatures the foods take on the flavor of the smoke but are not cooked it can be applied to the products that only require smoking at this point and will undergo the cooking process later also cold smoke is usually used for items that have been through the process of dry curing for example smoked salmon chorizo and salami in hot smoking the temperature inside the smokehouse may be as high as 165 degree fahrenheit such temperature are high enough to cook the foods being smoked higher temperatures are usually avoided because they result in excessive shrinkage foods may be hot smoked until they reach an internal temperature of 150 to 165 degree fahrenheit to ensure that they are fully cooked this is all for this session hope you must have understood the importance of curing and smoking while making shakutri products in the upcoming session you will learn about sausage its types and the different components used in sausage thanks for watching stay safe